It's just me. I'm listening to the birds. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lacey. I'm the owner of Milky Candles and I make videos about life in my 30s. There's a local company here in Arizona that um, her sister is getting married and so they asked if we could do some cute bridal shower candles. So that's what we're making today. We have to make an appearance. And then I'd like to make some other candles because we do have events coming up in March. And at this point, it's almost the end of February. So I just want to have them cure for a long time. It's hard because when I make candles on Saturday and then I try to go and box them on Sunday. On Sunday, I'm like, I got to do errands. I got to clean. I got to do grocery shopping and like wash the laundry and all that kind of stuff. And my fiance and I do all those things together. We're so bombarded with that that we then don't have time to do anything outside of that, which for me would be like boxing candles. So then they sit there on the counter covered all week and I don't wanna do that. So we'll see how many I end up making today. One of my friends just moved back to the East Coast and so she has been sending me like house updates and I'm like, I so, I am a sucker for a project and I so desperately wanna like go out in the yard today or like go get some pots from Home Depot and plant some stuff just for the back porch. I just so badly want to make our back porch green with plants, but I, money, time, let's make candles instead. So these are the um, pins from the Clean These Out. I believe she wanted 36 of them. I always make a couple of extra just in case you never know what's gonna happen. And if you don't use them, you could always just put your label on it because She's doing a custom label. I could always put my own little label on it and just give it to like fan, fans, friends and family. I can't talk this morning. I also couldn't talk yesterday. So really excited to know that it's bleeding into today. So I'm gonna wipe these down with alcohol and then I'm going to start the process of wicking, getting them all set up. And then I'm gonna get into melting down the wax. She requested gray weather. And then I'm gonna print out a label put it on, send her the final picture for approval, and then we'll label them all and then we'll drop them off at some point, probably not till next weekend. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> this is alcohol. For something like this, I actually just send on my website as an invoice um, an order. So I basically draft an order with whatever the description is, like four ounce of gold tin bridal shower candles with like in parentheses, gray weather for the scent. Um, and then I times it, like I do the math for one of those and then I times it by 36. open this because I think this has the rest of my wicks in it. I bought the Eco 2x6 to just test it out and it was a good wick for this size. It could probably go a little bit smaller but um, it's such a small candle that I don't recommend burning for more than three hours at a time. Yes. Okay so I just bought a couple of these because I don't really sell these outside of what I'm doing right now, so I don't want to do like a huge um, order. And a scent that is for spring and summer that I will not share with you until that time comes, because I'm so excited about it. Uh, ooh, vanilla orchid. Ooh, it's a little, a little crusty. Mm, that smells really yummy though. That vanilla is subtle. I don't usually like vanilla stuff, but that is really subtle. So first I'm gonna tab all of these. You guys have seen me do this probably a million times. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I 
trying to fill the candles and the wicks are too long and I keep hitting them and messing them up. I do cut them twice. I cut them once to get out of my way, twice to fit the actual size of the candle. I like to look at them sideways like this so that I can see that the wick is not even. It makes it a little bit easier for me to see. She's in her happy place. Okay, we are all set up and ready to make candles. I have these little rejects over here that I need to pry open with that knife. Cause sometimes these will slip out and it's honestly the most irritating thing ever. So any of them that did that, I just threw over here because I've been dealing with it for too long and I've just <laughs> refused to deal with it and I'm going to today. So even though I have my candles set up, I'm going to make them in two batches. It just feels, sometimes it feels easier that way. All right, we're starting to melt. It looks like we're really full, but you have to take into consideration how much air is in between these chunks of wax. And I have my scent already poured. Again, she chose gray weather for all of the scents. And I have some of these set up for samples because I usually have just a little bit of wax left over, which makes perfect sense to just pour it in these samples because I like to give samples anyways. I know I talked about wanting to not give free samples anymore and making sample packs. I haven't really gotten to that point yet, so when I do, um, I'll show you what I end up doing. But for now, we are still doing free samples. We've got a good temperature going, so we're going to pour the fragrance oil. Transferring a little bit to a smaller pot so that I don't spill when I try to pour this. Bridal shower. Are you going to make candles for our wedding? All of these have been poured. I poured my samples. I had a little left over for one, like half of these, and then I'm going to make the rest of these. So I ended up making both batches. I moved these over here because I was gonna start making breakfast and then um, I ended up calling my bestie because her dog had surgery and I hadn't heard from her since her dog had surgery, so I got nervous. So the last hour I spent talking to her. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let these dry down a little bit more. I took the wick bars off just to make sure that the wicks are centered. Then I'm going to put on a label and send a picture to her, see if it's good for her. And then um, I'll end up making some more candles just so that I can kind of get ready for the pop-up that we're gonna do just ahead of time. All right, so this is what the candle will look like. I added Milky Candles Phoenix, Arizona, four ounce soy blend candle. I sent her a picture and I just let her know if you want it to be smaller, let me know. If you want it to be larger, let me know. Um, so I'm waiting for her response before I end up printing the rest of the labels, but these are so adorable. All right, I got final approval. So we're gonna put the labels on. I had to print the rest of them. I'll still have to print more, but let's go. I also made some samples for spring, so we'll see what that's like. Okay, just showing you guys that I did end up making those candles. This is the next day. I made brunch and as a habit because I am out of stock. I made, back here I have the these new candles that I'm making. This is the spring slash summer scent. And then I have some samples, some more brunch and as a habit book glass, and then two more scents that I'm trying out. I wanna figure out one of them for spring and summer. 
I don't think it's gonna be that one. I think it's gonna be this one. Yeah, I think it's gonna be that one. All right, friends, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for making candles with me. I love you even if you don't love me back and I'll see you in my next video.